throughout history, ships have appeared indestructible. And still, Mother Nature triumphed. Other shipwrecks which made big waves and welcomed major global attention, here are eight catastrophic modern-day shipwrecks. New Carissa, 1999 When the massive freighter, the New Carissa, charged from the sea and propelled herself onto the Oregon coastline in February of 1999, it was almost too late for the crew to act. As the ship had been approaching Port of Coos Bay, it was forced to anchor suddenly due to awful weather conditions and cautioned over what was on board 400,000 gallons of fuel oil inside the cargo hull. The 639-foot freighter held a crew of 23, which promptly began to panic as high winds and 26-foot swells began to test the solid ship. Shortly after the anchor had been dropped, a short chain and the increasing wind power dragged the hapless boat and crew towards the shore. Running aground and spilling 70,000 gallons of fuel oil and diesel in its mighty wake, 3,000 shorebirds and seabirds were demolished from the disaster and several marine businesses and property fronts were also affected by the chaos. Attempts to pump off the fuel fell fruitless, and so the decision had been made to burn off the fuel, an operation never before tried in the United States. The efforts, however, caused the ship to break in half, and only nine years later was the site eventually dismantled, despite becoming a huge tourist attraction. 7. World Discoverer 2000 like the new Carissa, during its prolonged grounding, the World Discoverer serves as an eccentric attraction for tourists far and wide. The German-based cruise ship was built to be indestructible. At least, that's what its double hull promised. Constructed to prevent damage from collisions around the Antarctic Peninsula, the double hull was the one feature which is rumoured to keep the vessel perfectly safe from harm. Today, it's both an eerie and impressive sight to behold a half-sunken sea liner lying on one side, half-submerged in translucent teal-hued waters since 2000. The massive sea maiden was once a globe-trotting luxury cruise liner, navigating the world with ease, the 8,000 miles of the northwest waters. Until a fateful encounter with an uncharted barrier reef changed all that. Despite its hype, the grand world discoverer met its match in Sandfly Passage, Solomon Islands, and put an end to its seafaring career for good. Every passenger was evacuated safely, but the ship was left to rest, eventually ransacked by savage locals during the civil war endured by the Solomon Islands. Tidal activity had caused further damage to the structure and caused the surface to rust so greatly it was deemed futile for salvage companies to try and retrieve the ship. The attraction alone and disinterest to move the ocean vehicle means it will most likely remain in this final resting place, eventually crumbling all at once into the sea. Before we continue, take a moment to subscribe to What Lurks Below and hit the bell to get notified of new videos such as this one. 6. MV Lavina 1 2007 The MV Lavina 1 is famous for not one, but two remarkable incidents to strike the maiden ship in 2007 a mere six hours after the ferry departed from Jakarta, Indonesia, she came ablaze as hundreds of panicked passengers jumped off the fire-stricken boat into the rushing Java Sea. 51 people were killed and more than 290 rescued, many of whom were picked up by the heroic Lavina 2, the ferry's reliable sister ship. Of this group, 60 passengers managed to swim to a nearby island and seek help there. But this wasn't the end for Lavina 1. The next day, four investigators and 12 journalists were transported to the damaged ship, where they proceeded to board without life vests. Shortly after departure, the ship listed, or heeled, to one side, causing a tremendous panic from all on board. Within moments, the vessel began to sink, and two police forensic officers and a cameraman went missing. Another cameraman died later in the hospital. Fine, MS Herald of Free Enterprise, 1987 Human decency and unity came together in light of this disastrous event at sea. With people forming human bridges to save others, or strangers clasping hands to make flesh and bone chains to help survivors to safety, 
While heroism prevailed, the ship's integrity did not. And in 1987, the MS Herald of Free Enterprise took a nosedive for the bottom of the English Channel. There had been problems from the start, as the early stages of the trip had the massive ferry taking on water right away. Soon the grand vessel began leaning to one side, when suddenly and without warning, she capsized within 90 seconds time. This shocking and sudden turn of events resulted in the untimely deaths of 193 victims, most of whom were overcome by hypothermia in the 3 degree Celsius waters. The boat had been headed from southeast England to the Belgian port of Zibru, but never made the voyage. One man disappeared after he made himself into a human bridge to save his wife, daughter and other passengers. Others drowned or froze while floating upright in their life vests. All who were involved suffered. Failure to close the bow doors resulted in the ship taking in water and eventually sinking. A disaster which deems the wreck the worst peacetime maritime disaster for a British registered ship since the Titanic 75 years earlier. 4. MV Jeweler 2002 only one other maritime shipwreck is considered more disastrous than this sad tale at sea. For the catastrophic shipwreck of the MV Jula cost 1,863 people their lives. Part of its weakness was that the ship, owned by the Senegalese government, making frequent voyages from southern Senegal to Dhaka, held an unsettlingly higher number of passengers than its regulated 580. In September 2002, as the jeweler embarked on its well-known journey, she carried with her 2,000 passengers that made the ship especially vulnerable to a fierce storm stirring off the coast of Gambia. The vessel was only designed to navigate coastal waters, so it quickly succumbed to the strong winds and heavy waves, unbeknownst to the jovial members on board who at 11pm were dancing and drinking to the sounds of a band. Overcrowding and a long-standing history of technical problems were the primary factors in the disaster of the jeweler, and by 1am, the result of rough seas and wind caused the boat to quickly capsize. Throwing passengers and cargo into the vicious sea, the ship sunk in less than five minutes, and out of the 2,000, only 64 passengers survived to witness such a horror, that of a grand vessel sinking headfirst into the icy depths of a dark sea. 3. MS Estonia 1994 Flying high on a tailwind that released the chains of the Soviet Union and saw a newly independent Estonian nation came disaster. One of the worst maritime calamities in European history occurred on a stormy night in September 1994 in the icy Baltic Sea, when the luxurious MS Estonia sank beneath the waters 850 terrified and helpless people lost their lives. The vessel was a massive steel ship, 510 feet long and 9 decks high, accommodations enough to delight up to 2,000 passengers. The vessel contained labyrinths of cabins, a swimming pool and sauna, cinema, casino, arcades, conference rooms, multiple restaurants and bars, all glad in nautical themes of red and gold. Destined for Stockholm from Estonia, the ship struggled through a storm and fought 45 mile per hour winds and 13 foot waves. The ship featured an impressive car deck, accessed through a special openable bow that could be raised to allow vehicles to drive in and out. At sea, the bow was always ordered to remain locked and closed, and in this case, was left open. The cause of the ship's inevitable capsize and sinking. After water lewed the deck and the ship inverted to 90 degrees, Mayday ensued, and a former object of pride for a new sovereign nation suddenly became a horrible sight of despair. Hours later, ferries and helicopters arrived on the scene, rescuing 138 victims and saying goodbye to the remaining 852, who died tragically from being trapped, crushed, drowned, or suffering hypothermia. The demise of the MS Estonia marks the largest peacetime shipwreck disaster in the history of the Baltic Sea. 2. MV Donna Paz 1987 Many people regard the events linked to the MV Donna Paz as the worst ferry disaster in history. In December of 1987, two vessels were headed toward one another through the Tabla Strait in the Philippines, amid rough winds and choppy waters. The Donna Paz was headed from Cadbalagan to Manila, carrying on her back a large number of passengers 
who were fast asleep. A small oil tanker, called the MT Vector, was busy making its way in the same direction, with 8,800 barrels of gasoline on deck. At the sudden jolt and crash of the two ocean liners, half-asleep passengers had little to no time to react as a fire quickly spread from the Vector to the Donna Pass. With life jackets locked away and dazed crew, chances of survival were growing slimmer and slimmer. It wasn't until eight gruelling hours later that Philippine maritime authorities got word of the accident, taking an additional eight hours to conduct search and rescue operations. 26 people survived from both ships. 4,375 did not. While the official death toll and reports renders 1,565 as deceased, this is due to overcrowding and ferry officials permitting far more people on board than legally warranted. The few survivors from the ferry were forced to swim as there was no time to launch lifeboats. Further, an inquiry later revealed that the crew of the Vector had been underqualified and that the boat's license had long expired. To this day, many consider the catastrophic event to be the worst ferry and peacetime maritime disaster in history. 1. Costa Concordia, 2012 The Costa Concordia took theme nights to a whole new level, after the question of who did it ravaged the entire crew shortly after the sinking of the Grand Cruise Ship on January 13th, 2012. Several members of the team, including the captain, were sent to prison or injured heavy investigation for the loss of lives that fateful evening. The Italian cruise ship, notably the largest in the country at the time, was headed out on a week-long voyage around the Mediterranean with more than 4,000 passengers and crew on board. As the vessel headed northwest along the Italian coastline, Captain Francisco Cetino ordered that the ship be steered close to the island of Giglio to engage in a traditional salute. Due to a language barrier, the ship was sent in the opposite direction, and upon correction, the cruise liner was ravaged on one side by a massive reef. Within moments, engine rooms were flooded and power lost, yet when help tried to intervene, the captain and crew reported a mere blackout and nothing else. While confusion on the ship resulted in conflicting orders, one thing was clear. The Concordia was struck and suffered a tear 174 feet long. Quickly, the ship listed onto one side as sinking seemed inevitable. Yet the captain downplayed the damage down to a simple power outage. Later, with passengers still stuck on the capsizing ship, rescuers found the captain safe and sound in one of the ship's lifeboats nearby. When ordered to return back and help those on board, the captain refused to go. 32 people died from the tragedy, and several of the ship's crew, notably the captain, were charged with various crimes. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to be on a sinking ship? Do you think you could survive? What would be your game plan? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.